Hey there! I was contacted by a very fine gentleman who said hello. I'm the founder and owner of Lockby. I'm not going to say Lockby. I'm going to say Lockby just because I. it pleases me. Lockby. No, I shouldn't do that. Lockby in the United States creates products. He said maybe you want to look at my website, see if there's anything you like, and I can send you something to review. I said, done. So I looked at the website and thought, oh, that actually looks pretty cool. So I was then sent three products. Now here's the deal. Once in a while, you come across a product and you like it, and you obtain it, and then you are blown away by it. Now I'm Dutch, so this is my normal face. And now this is my happy face. And now this is my ecstatic face. But now this is my Lockby face. Because this is some cool stuff. I cannot wait to show you what these products are about and why I love them so much. Because these have blown my mind a little bit. And after nine years of reviewing products, it's not that easy to blow my mind. So, let me not waste any more of your time. Let's get into these products. All right, Lockbee products. I'm going to have to zoom out a bit, and that means you're going to see the legs of my tripod. You know what? It's the way it's going to be. Let's talk a little bit about Lockbee. Lockbee creates products in the US out of waxed canvas. I love waxed canvas. Waxed canvas is very, very strong. And waxed canvas has been used for a very long time in all kinds of military applications, from backpacks to, uh, in a way, shoes and uh, tarpaulins and tents and these kinds of things. And now you can own a little bit of that. Let's go over these products. I'm going to start with just uh, that side at the bottom here. So this is the, I'm going to, talk about all three of these products so this may be a somewhat longer video especially because I get carried away when I like something this is the Lockbee field journal okay it is made as all products of wax canvas I'm not going to keep reiterating that wax canvas is very a canvas is very nice because it is uh, it, it's sort of water repellent which is really nice this is a large notebook cover so what are some of the things on the outside. Well, we have the wax canvas, and then we have this clasp, which is, I think it's fantastic, it's aircraft grade aluminium, but you can call it aluminum. You can tighten it, you can loosen it, depending on how many notebooks you put in there, I'll show you. This is very easy. I already love it, because thought went into this, and in my mind, that sums up this entire product range. Thought went into it. And this is very uncommon these days because people don't think anymore. So we have this. We have a pen loop. What can you put in this pen loop? A thin pen, like a Pilot Parallel. It fits. Does it fall out? I'm not holding it, okay? Nope, doesn't fall out. What else would fit? How about a cross Darth Vader that's peerless, that's a thicker pen. As you can see this fits, it doesn't fall out. How about an Opus 88, Omar, this is a big fat pen, fits without issue. See that? Fits without issue, doesn't fall out. Okay, now of course there's a little trouble of extricating that, but there we go. Uh, Namiki Emperor, why not? Yeah, fits. A freaking Namiki Emperor fits. Okay, so in other words, this pen loop will fit whatever pen you own. It's that simple. What else do we have? A carrying handle. You can actually carry this. It's superb. I love it. Now you have this on the back. Okay, so here, of course, this is what that aircraft grade aluminum is attached to, right? That's your loop. But then, there's a little opening there. Now, I don't know if it was intended for that, but I'm gonna say something thin, like a pencil or not a somewhat thinner pen. 
will fit, okay? That's not all of it. Then you have a pocket here. This is not just a pocket that you can use so that stuff will fall out of it as you're happily carrying this around on your handle. No. It has a hook and loop system. You're not allowed to call it Velcro, so I wouldn't dare. Hook and loop, right? Thank you, Ellen. This fits, but... But the hook and loop doesn't cover the entire length of this. Why is this useful? First of all, it's much easier to open that way. But second of all, if you happen to have something that's particularly tall, you can put that in and it can stick out and the pocket still closes. So if there are other valuables in there, your pocket still closes and this can stick out a bit because it's not Velcro all along that line. I just dropped that pen, but fortunately it was capped. Okay, now we're going to open this thing. Oh, that was very loud, I'm so sorry. My apologies to headphone users. Don't wear headphones. So, you open it up. Now what do we have here? We have a beautiful little mesh pocket, right? Um, if you are an artist or something, I'm thinking something like an eraser or a, a, a pencil sharpener or whatever. But of course, whatever you like, right? Also has hook and loop closure. So whatever's in there will stay in there. And as you're carrying it around, it won't fall out. Because remember, this doesn't have a zipper or anything, so this won't actually cover, like, like close up all the way. Pocket, here. What could you put in there? Now, I should have prepared this a little better. Here's a Logby, I'm, so, I'm sorry for all the noise. Here's a Logby notebook, a small one. Fits in there perfectly, but other things would fit in there as well, of course. Pocket, pocket, business cards, whatever, yeah? Another pocket, use it as a pocket or use it I'm really making a lot of noise, I'm so sorry. Uh, put in the cover of a notebook, and you can put in that notebook, and you have another option for notebooks, as if you didn't have enough options. You get no less than four of these elastic loops, which you put a notebook in right in the middle, right? These are Logby notebooks. Uh, very kindly, the owner supplied me with three kinds. Now, here's the deal with the Lockby notebook. So, this is the large notebook. Let me just get the prices out for you. These are $8.99 US a piece, these notebooks. And now you may say, oh, for a soft cover notebook, that's uh, maybe a bit expensive. Yeah, until you learn that this is actually Tomoe River paper, okay, which is arguably the most fountain pen friendly paper in the world. So, you know I have a love-hate relationship with Toma River if you've watched a lot of these videos, but you can't deny that it's incredibly fountain pen friendly. I'll show you in just a second. So, um, you can put a maximum of six of these refills in, right, because you have four loops. So I have one, and I have two, and I have three, and then you put one in the back where you have either another pocket or, again, a slip cover for the back cover of your notebook. That is notebook number uh, five, if you use all four of your elastic loops. And here is number six, and I can carry six notebooks, and because you can adjust the length of this closure strap, your cover will fit perfectly well, close perfectly well. Tomoe River, this is the ruled. Notice that the so it has lines. These lines are ruled, and I tried to look up six millimeters in between them. They are actually numbered, okay? The lines are numbered, and you have little markings here. Could be useful if you're drawing, for example, right? You have a little sort of table of contents type scenario going on here, right? Uh, the pages are not numbered. That might be something to consider in the future. Just, just a kind suggestion. Then you have, so you have the rule, then you have entirely blank, and then you also have dots, five millimeter dots. Now here's another thing I love, okay? What if you have these notebooks and you think, okay, I want to have my blank notebook, but you have six notebooks in here, you don't know which is which anymore, right? They're marked, ruled, clear, dot grid. The I for detail in this is superb and has blown me away. 
Notice that these notebooks are stitched as well, so they're not going to come apart on you. And it's Tongwei River paper. Okay, so I had checked out all these features on just this one. I have two more products to go over. Yeah, I checked all these features. I think, okay, so let's estimate a price here. 100 bucks, like you have, you know, $39. It's not even $50. $39. Okay, and you get one of these notebooks, dot grid, you get that with it, with your purchase. And you can buy the other ones for $8.99 a piece. And for the record, each notebook is 72 pages. Okay? Okay, so I was fairly blown away by this. 39 bucks, wax canvas, all the pockets, the notebook options, the loops, that I love everything about it. What else? Well, then we have this product. I made noise again, I'm sorry. This product is a little bit smaller. I can zoom in a little bit, I think. Okay, so this is the Lockbee Pocket Journal. The Pocket Journal is obviously smaller, right? So you have, I would, what should we call this? About A5, I would say, for the, for the larger cover, and then you have this smaller cover. It's smaller, right? So here you have a couple of things that I also really like, okay? So on the outside, you have a good-sized little pocket there. Okay, you can put a pen in there. Then you have a larger pocket here. Right? This is larger. So you can put a few pens in or you know whatever whatever you you, you have. I don't I don't know what you have. Here you have a larger pocket in the back. Zipper it, I'll come back to that. Which again has hook and loop closure. So you can put in valuables, whatever. That will stay in there. This cover has, as you can see, a zipper. YKK zipper, one of the best zipper brands in the world. Smooth. Doesn't get snagged. This looks an awful lot like a bit of paracord, for those of you who enjoy such a thing. This is much smaller. This does not have the 5,000 pockets that the large version has, but it's smaller. I also like, you see that sort of reinforced pattern on there? That's not going to break, is it? Because that's reinforced. I love that too. Okay, what do we have here? Again, the eye for detail I love. So here you have either a bigger pocket or you do, which is how I think that's supposed to be used, or was intended to be used. You take one of these smaller notebooks. These refills are $5.99 each. You get, if you purchase this product, you get one of the dot grid refills uh, in this as well. Um, so these are three and a half by five and a half inches. Think of something that's about field note size if, if, if you if you ever use those, right? Um, this is again Tomway River. I have done a writing sample. This is a six millimeter pilot parallel with SBRE brown ink. Do you see any bleed through? Because I do not. There's a bit of show through, but there's no bleeding because it's Tomway River. And again, this is a stitched notebook, so it won't come apart. Okay, now. I was talking about this pocket. This pocket is intended to be used like this, I'm sure, where you take a little notebook and you just slide in, right, the cover, in this case the back cover, yeah, or in this case the front cover, yeah, you slide that in there, right, and now you have two of these notebooks. And then you say, ah, but now your marking doesn't work anymore, because the marking is on the front, what type of notebook it is, right, is it, is it ruled, is it blank, is it dot grid, aha, but it's on the back as well. So again, that's eye for detail, because now if I put this in, then I know exactly, upon opening my cover, that my dot grid is on that side. Okay? Eye for detail. But now that's not all. On this side, that's all, right? So that's where I had my notebook, and it fits in comfortably. But then below that, there's three more pockets. There's a wider pocket, a narrower pocket, I don't think my finger is going to fit. This is simply too tight for my fingers. Hashtag boom. And then there is another pocket there, which is a bit wider again. So you could put some stuff in there, right? Then you have this. What's the price of this one? This one is $34. Well, if you consider that this is $34 and this is $39, I'm sure there will be people who say, oh, this is relatively expensive. It is, but it's small. It's pocketable and it has a zipper which the big one does not. Okay? Let's move on to the final product. The final product is another one that I really like. 
I never really got the point, I'm just reassembling it here, I'm sorry. I never really got the point of these tool rolls. They, they became very popular in, in, in certain scenes, like a, a tool roll. I, I don't, I, I've never really felt like I had use for a, a tool roll, because I always carry my pens in, in, a, in, a, in a pen case like this. But I'm not an urban artist or something. Okay, so what's the tool roll all about? Well, right now it's sold out on the website, so I can't give you a price. But given that all the other products are something in the like like high thirty dollar range, I'm assuming this is not going to be a whole lot more expensive or a whole lot cheaper. Something in that range as well. Same wax canvas, same aircraft aluminum uh, or aircraft grade aluminum um, clasp. Uh, there is, by the way, I have to look up what the name for that was again. It's not only double stitching, but there's bar tacking, which I I'm not an expert, but I think that is the type of stitching that you see here. Very strong type of stitching. If you didn't know what bar tacking is, uh, then you're like me, and if you didn't know what it was, then you were not like me. I had to look it up. Here you've got your tool roll, right? There is no pockets on the outside, really, which is also not really necessary. I'll show you why. So this is the thing unrolled. That's the outside, but you have multiple options for your clasp, right? So the, the, the fatter it gets because you put more stuff in it, the more you can move your clasp one way or the other way to make sure it still actually closes. Now, if we <clears throat> look at the product, right, the size of this is about 8 inches by 16 inches, so it's, 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 it's sizable, right? Here's a fountain pen for your size and here's my hands. So, what do we have here? We have a couple of things that I absolutely love. First of all, zipper, mesh pocket. Again, YKK zipper. Mesh pocket. Okay? Uh, again, I'm thinking, I don't know, a razor, uh, a pencil sharpener, things that you might use if you use pencils, which I don't. But, you know, there is that. Whatever you can find useful. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these loops. Four in one size, three in one size, and two in a super massive size. Okay, well, that's cool. Now you have these flaps here. These flaps will make sure that if you have a pen without a clip, right, it's not going to fall out because there's a little flap covering its feet so that your pen won't fall out, right? Which is fantastic. Now, then, on the flap, this is the top flap, if you open that up, you have these three pockets. And guess what? They happen to perfectly fit a small Lock B notebook. Okay, this is again, this is a dot grid. Do that in there, yeah? Now, I don't really want to do, this is going to be a fairly long video already, I don't really want to do a writing sample on these. I have shown you the writing, right? It's Tomoe River. I've done a lot of reviews of Tomoe River notebooks. It's the this, this 68 grams per square meter Tomoe River, and I have shown you that it doesn't bleed through with a 6 millimeter pilot parallel. I think that's all you're going to throw at it with fountain pens. If you're an artist, I don't know how it holds up, but I'm not an artist, so I'm not going to do paints or watercolors, because I that would just look ridiculous. For pen use, I would say this is pretty much the ultimate paper, and this notebook will serve you well, even if you like quadruple broad nibs. This will work, okay? So it fits in here, and fits comfortably. And what I love is that it actually, you don't have to do your worst to just squeeze it in there. It fits in smoothly. One, two, three. Does it fit equally well in all three pockets? Yes. Okay, done. Now, of course, if you do that, then this loop would kind of fall shut this way, right? If you don't put in these notebooks, then you can roll it up more, right? Now what I thought we would do is we would put in one notebook, put in some pens, roll it up, see what it looks like, and I will take out the notebook and roll it up again see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a little tight, so now I have a slightly wider loop. I also love that. You have different options for different tools. Why not put a Namiki Emperor in, right? Messenger, Darth Vader, maybe a pilot parallel because I feel that way. How about a Conant King size? And uh, I don't know what this is. Wing Sung, 699. It's the final thing I had inked up. Okay. Do we have one more thing so that I can actually put something in? Yeah, sure. Why not? Delta, Roma Imperiale. Okay, so these are some really big fat pens. Cover them up. There's a notebook in there, so this is how it closes. Can we still close it? Yes, we can still close it. No issue. Now what if, now these are such fat pens, I don't know if this is really going to work well, but I'll take out the notebook, see how that rolls up. Now, 
closes friction. Oh, I should stand that end, shouldn't I? Okay. Ruthless efficiency, as you can see. Closes. Done. Okay. I think I've told you everything I wanted to tell you about this. We need to talk about what I like and what I don't like about the LogB products. Let's do that. I haven't zoomed out yet, I'm so sorry. What do I like, what do I not like about the LogB products? You may have noticed a certain level of enthusiasm. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, I, I love them. I love them. And there's a couple of things I really like about them. And for the record, like this is, I'm just sending the products, right? I, I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, compensated for this review or anything. But I love a quality product. And for me, quality is reflected not by exclusivity, not by uh, elitism. Quality is reflected by handing me a product. Why is my collar so weird? I don't know. Handing me a product that is well thought out. And there are so many attentive, eye for detail type things in these products. I find them hard not to love. I'm sure the canvas look is not for everyone. Some people like something a bit more refined. Where do I have my, here. Chic Sparrow leather. This is leather. This is a fancy cover. This will age beautifully. This is, yes, it's fantastic. This is 110 US. 108. This is 39. I'm not saying one is, like, the one is better than the other. A good leather product will set you back that price. That's normal. But this is affordable quality. Like, it's not even $50. I was blown away when I, when I saw that price, especially given all the features. I love the eye for detail. I love the material. Wax canvas is super strong. Make no mistake. That, that will last you a lifetime. It's water repellent. It's rugged. It has many features that are all thought out properly. It has notebooks made for it that have the top-notch quality paper in it that we have at the moment. The re refills, yeah, $8.99 for refill, yeah, 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 okay. But it is Tomoy River paper, it is stitched, it has a lot of things going for it. I don't think that's terrible. And without refills, there's no notebook, right? So that's, that, or notebook cover, I should say. So there is that. I like it. So, what do I not like about it? Well, there is one thing, and that is a pretty big problem. I really regret that these things were not around 10 years ago. But beyond that, I'm serious, th th there is nothing I don't, I, I, I don't love. It's, it's made properly, again, you have the clasp and it's made in such a way that it's not under the notebook when you write so that everything wobbles. It's good. It's good. It's a good product. This gets something that is not very common. I think it has never happened before, but I think I'm going to introduce it now. This product gets the Esberry Brown seal of approval, which we shall now applaud with the sound of a single clapping hand. Done. I hope this was useful to the owner of this product. We will follow your career with great interest. I hope you've been convinced that I kind of enjoy this, <laughs> these products. I'm sorry if I was overly enthusiastic, but that's what happens when I get passionate about things. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Now what if you have a great idea, but you're in the shower, right? You wear a hat to keep the water out of your eyes. Don't worry, Mike, it's, it's a wool hat, it doesn't matter. You just take your lovely product. It doesn't matter, because it's wax canvas. It doesn't matter, okay? So you can do this, fine, you can do this all day, it doesn't matter. Now, if someone were to turn off the water, just like that, you take your product, there'll be a bit of water on it, but on the inside, it's dry. You see, I'm that comfortable with it, with a lot of things, apparently, but because it's wax canvas, it's fine, it'll be fine. Problem solved. Now you know what to do if you have great ideas in the shower.